Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Moreno Boxing TV. I'm your host, Carlos Moreno, and thank you for tuning in. Today we have our guest, uh, and he's going to be working as my partner. Today we have Mr. Simon Zell. And Simon is a personal trainer, uh, and he does a lot of calisthenics workouts, and he's does a lot of technical boxing stuff as well. Simon is also our in-house at Moreno Boxing TV videographer and photographer. Uh, so we're gonna leave a link in the description down below. You can check his website, check his workout, um, and make sure you follow him <coughs> on social media. So without further ado, today what we've got for you is slip, and we're gonna be looking at slipping shots, but we're gonna have a partner throwing actual real punches at me. So he's gonna be trying Simon's gonna be trying to hit me in the head and I'm gonna be moving my head out of the way and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks live action. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to the Bus sale! Okay, so Alright, so in our boxing stance, we're here that, again talking about stances, you can go L up stance, high guard stance, peekaboo stance, crab stance, any stance that you wanna have. You can go in here, this works for any stance. So we'll do basic slipping, basic head movement, okay? So we're starting out on straight punches. We're only gonna work on the jab and potentially the cross. And I'm gonna to explain to you how to throw, how to slip and what it and what it means to slip inside and outside. Go back, if you want to know more about slipping, please go back and watch my other videos. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below as well. Check out my other videos on slipping and bobbing and weaving. So Assuming that you already know how to slip, we're gonna have Simon's gonna throw a jab at my head and I'm gonna perform an outside slip, okay? Jab, outside slip, outside slip. The reason why it's called an outside slip is I'm slipping outside of the guard. Now we're looking at, let's explore some counter options. So I'm gonna slip outside, got the jab to the body. Slip outside, right uppercut. Slip outside, right hand over the top, okay? So that's it. Now we're gonna look at inside slip. So I'm just gonna shoot, slip inside. Okay, I'm here. Bam, got that nice body shot. Shoot the jab again, slip inside, boom, uppercut through the middle. Now what I love about Manny Pacquiao, of course you guys know who Manny Pacquiao is. He's a southpaw and he's got this habit of, he rolls underneath a punch, bang, and he throws a shot as he's rolling underneath a punch. Deadly, deadly combination. If you watch Canelo Alvarez versus Amir Khan when he knocked out Khan, Amir, uh, Canelo Alvarez was looking for that shot. He was banging really hard to the body and then going upstairs. What he wanted to do, his tactic was to try and make Khan drop his hands so he can land a big shot upstairs. So let's have Simon, let's say you've got your hands up and then let's say I'm going bang, bang, bang and hurting your ribs. Eventually that hand's gonna get lower and lower and lower where you're trying to protect the body and then I'm gonna open you up upstairs. So if you're going to start like this, if you watch what Canelo did, Canelo comes in, whack, whack, it's over. Okay? Uh, Danny Garcia, another great fighter who throws a lot of hooks and goes to the body and comes up to the head. He knocked out Amir Khan coincidentally as well. So, with our boxing starts, we slip it inside, uppercut, body shot, and then we can also slip and go to the body. Sl slip, bang, and go to the body at the same time. Slip, bang, go to the body. You can slip and bring it overhand right. Slip, wham, sorry, and bring it overhand, so it's a bit hard, right? <laughs> slip, wham, bring it overhand right, okay? So, that's outside and inside slip. Why is it called outside slip? Because it's outside the guard. If you shoot the right hand, and I slip here, that's outside slip. Bang to the body, bang upstairs. Shoot the right hand, and I come inside, boom, uppercut, boom, boom, body shots. That's the inside slip. Okay, so we need to understand what it means to position your head in different head slots. So we have, let's have, this is, let's say this is head slot one. Head slot one, okay? Head slot two, head slot three, four, five. Okay, go and watch my other videos on bobbing and weaving here, yeah? you'll see what I'm talking about. So now, Simon's gonna shoot the jab and I'm gonna opt for a layback, okay? To perform the layback, I'm just gonna push off the front leg and I'm gonna straighten it slightly and lean back, yeah? So I'll shoot the jab, just gonna lay back. That's the position. Making sure that my guard's tight, okay? I'm just gonna pull back, just enough to make a miss. If you wanna switch sides, just to show them just enough to make him miss that shot. Shoot the jab, bam. Shoot the jab, bam. Shoot the jab, lean back. 
lean back. As I lean back, I'm also putting my weight on the back leg, and then I'm gonna have power, wham, to come back with a deadly counter. Okay, so you shoot jab, lean back, boom. At the same time as I'm leaning back, I'm also drawing him in. I'm drawing the lead. So if we're here, take a step back. That's it. If we're here, and then he shoots the jab, and I lean back, I want him to overreach, overreach, and try to lean in for that shot, and then bang, I'm gonna catch him all the way in. I can lean back and throw the uppercut at the same time. Shoot the jab, boom, shoot the uppercut at the same time, okay? So that's another head slot. Another head slot I'm gonna give you is duck. Straight duck, just shoot, let gravity do the work. Shoot the jab, and I'm just gonna go straight down, okay? There's not too much involved in this one, I'm just gonna go straight down. From this position, my knees are bent, I'm not leaning forward, my knees are bent, and then bang, I can go to the body. Shoot the jab, go to the body, shoot the jab, Shoot the jab, okay, go downstairs to the body, okay? So we've got inside slip, lay back, duck, slip, slip. Now you can, and you can also roll. Now the roll is more useful against the hooks. If Simon wants to throw a left hook, roll and leaf. Right hook, roll and leaf. Left hook, but you can also lay back against hooks. Throw the hook, lay back, yeah? So you're letting that hook go past. Throw the hook, lay back, bang, bang, counter. Again, lay back, bang, bang, counter hook, roll, bang, go to the body. Other hook, roll, bang, go to the body. So explore different ways of doing it, guys, yeah? Now, so that's, that's your head movement defense, okay? So we're here, we're just gonna do it a little bit faster, and I'm just gonna move my head. So we're just gonna start with a jab. So I want you to throw three jabs, yeah? One, two, three. Jab again, four, Alright, see, see that? That's your head movement right there. Do it at an angle like this so everyone can see what I'm doing. So just keep jabbing. Just enough to make you miss. Yeah, if you, you can, then you can do the same with the right hand, if you throw the right hand. But again, now, remember your opponent's not just gonna go like this, like that's not how people fight. They can throw a lot of jabs, but they're usually setting up a big right hand. So normally you're slipping the jab, keep jabbing, jabbing. But just enough because you know what's coming next. So shoot the jab and, and then leave it there. From there, you're going to bring the cross. Just enough to get out. That's the danger shot that I want to get out of the way of. Yeah? Throw the jab, shoot the cross. I want to get out of that shot. You don't want to get hit with that right hand. Yeah? Shoot the jab, shoot the cross. Again. Yeah? So it's the same principle, but just remember that the jabs are more frequent than the cross, okay? Now we're gonna go for hooks. So for a left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, left hook, okay? You can add the rolling, you can combine the rolling and the slipping, that's what we call bobbing and weaving, okay? So I'm gonna go a little bit faster now. We're just gonna use now I'm gonna throw straight punches like this, and Sam is gonna go left, right, left, right, and let's slip, yeah? Just like that. Breathe. That's it. Right. Good. Lay back. Good. Now I'm gonna call it out. Now this is a good partner drill that you can do with your partner, yeah? You pair up with someone, so let's switch positions. You pair up, so you have, you have Simon facing the other angle this way, so you can see what he's doing. I'm gonna call out. If I call right, he's got to slip to the right. Left, he's got to go left. If I say back, he leans back. If I say down, he has to go down. Okay? So back, right, left, down, back, 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 right, back, right, roll, roll, back, down, down, back, left. Yeah, see, if you make a mistake, you get caught, and it's, it's quite nerve wracking, isn't it? How do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah, I was like, I was always on my toes. Yeah, it keeps you on your toes. It keeps you, like, it keeps you know, you thinking as well. Exactly, exactly. It's good for your reaction yeah. and time, Definitely. yeah? So, guys, so, uh, so that's the tutorial for today. So, go away, find a partner, try to do it in different ways, different angles. Another good way you can work on this exercise, which I find, and you can do other exercises, like, is to have your back foot against the wall or and the boxing ring just lean against the rock where you can't escape, so you have to move your head. You have to move your head. So if, got, if I'm back against the wall, I have to only use head movement, yeah? You can, another way you could do it, you could get a partner uh, to hold their gloves. So I'm gonna do it as an example. So a partner's gonna hold the gloves like this, and you're, you're, and you're gonna have your hands behind your back like this. And the reason why I'm holding the gloves is because
because I don't want to hit them too hard. Yeah, so you're gonna stay in your stance, side up, and I just want to slip. I'm gonna slip my attacks. Slip, 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 slip. That's it. Slip. So this is a good drill that I can do. There's no risk of getting caught with a big shot and getting hurt, and you get to still practice your reflexes and your timing as well. Um, thank you guys for watching. Try out different drills. Try out different ways of doing it. Uh, leave a link down in the description to any other videos that you'd like me to watch or comment on and you know you know what to do. Keep your guard up at all times and get ready to pop up, pop, 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 p